In this tutorial in Adobe Premiere Elements 2018, we're going to give you some tips on applying the lens flare effect. Photographers and videographers are in a war a bit about the lens flare. Some use it a lot and think it's great. Others think I would never use it. Well, let's describe it and show you a couple of occasions where you might find it helpful. I have a stock clip that I have here that does use a lens flare effect. It came with it. Watch carefully. You'll see the sun coming through the, the trees here or looking like it is. And if I go ahead and play this, there it is. And then you know, you'll begin to notice some artifacts here like a lens flare. That's the refraction caused by shining a bright light into the camera. You see again it's up here. And there it is. Now that could have been original or it may have been applied in the effect. I'm not sure which. But that's kind of the look and feel of a natural lens flare. What we're going to do is take this second clip we have here and we'll apply a lens flare to it. So I'm going to take my effects in the action bar on the right, click on that, and in the generate I'll take the lens flare option, drag and drop it onto my clip. Now I have several options on how to modify the lens flare. Uh, first is location, and here we have the center of it, it's my x, y coordinates. The second is the brightness, it can go from zero, default is 100, it can go up to 300 percent. If I put it way up, there it's very bright, okay? And then you can click the backward arrow to reset it to factory default. I have three kinds of lenses I can emulate with a flare of 5 to 300, a 35 millimeter prime, and I can do 105 millimeter prime. So you have three kinds of looks. I'll leave it on the top one. Then the blend with the original, default is zero. Uh, specifies the degree to which it will be blended with the original source clip. I'll leave that on default, but let me show you what happens if you just drop it and don't do anything else with it. We're going to go ahead and play our video here, and you notice uh, the lens flare just kind of tracks with the picture, and it looks really odd, especially when you bring it over here. So m in most cases you have two options. You can either split the clip and apply the lens flare to part of the clip, or you can keyframe it. We're going to try to keyframe a little bit and show you something about what we might do here. So here we have our lens flare at the beginning of the clip. I want to change the position of it. We're going to make it start uh, over up to the left, so I need to move my coordinates here. I can drag across to my numbers, or I can type in a number if I want to. Well, we're going to move it to the left, and then we're going to move it uh, up. And I can actually type a number if I type in, let's see, 150. If you type in a negative number, it will take it off the screen. And so there's a, well, well that, that'll work. We have a little bit of a flare going on here. We have it looking like it's through the trees. Now, I started there, but I don't want it to just keep moving with the picture. If my camera were still, it would be different. That's what we had in the other clip. But in this case, I need to keyframe it. So I'm going to click on my little uh, stopwatch. That will turn on my keyframes. Now I'm going to use my keyframe indicator. I'm going to set the center of the flare and the brightness of the flare. We're going to start there and then we're going to move here. Now I need to change the center back because I don't want it moving with the camera. So we'll move a little bit left and we'll move a little bit up. Okay, then we'll move again. Now I have to move left more and we're going to move up so we only see part of it. See, I'm in a negative area here. The center is actually off the screen. And then we'll move a little more. And <clears throat> now we're going to make it move way off the screen. But we're going to have some of the uh, refraction still on the screen for a while. And then we're going to move, you, you see right here. Then we're going to move a little more. And then we're going to dim it down. In brightness and then by, by about this time we'll make it go away completely. So that's that's the keyframe. <clears throat> now let's go ahead and play this and see what happens. This will look a little more natural since the camera was in motion. Okay, 
Didn't get it perfect, but that's a little bit of your lens flare there in the scene. So if you want to use that kind of effect, it can be a nice thing to do, but uh, be careful about uh, making something that looks really, really odd. In fact, I probably would, if I could go back over this, I would uh, make it uh, dimmer quicker. Uh, but otherwise, it, it does look more like an effect that simply draws attention to itself. So that's one simple way in a natural photo shoot to apply the lens flare effect. Mm -hmm.